happiness and freedom begin with a clear understanding of one principle. Some things are within our control, and some things are not. It is only after you have faced up to this fundamental rule and learned it to distinguish between what you can and can't control that inner tranquility and outer effectiveness become possible. Be careful whom you associate with. It is human to imitate the habits of those with whom we interact. We inadvertently adopt their interests, their opinions, their values, and their habit of interpreting events. No matter what happens, it is within my power to turn it to my advantage. Any person capable of angering you becomes your master. He can anger you only when you permit yourself to be disturbed by him. It is our attitude toward events, not events themselves, which we can control. Nothing is by its own nature calamitous. Even death is terrible only if we fear it. It is not a demonstration of kindness or friendship to the people we care about to join them in indulging in wrong-headed, negative feelings. We do a better service to ourselves and others by remaining detached and avoiding melodramatic reactions. Unremarkable lives are marked by the fear of not looking capable when trying something new. First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. The essence of philosophy is that a man should so live that his happiness shall depend as little as possible on external things. What concerns me is not the way things are, but rather the way people think things are. Although we can't control which roles are assigned to us, it must be our business to act our given role as best we possibly can and to refrain from complaining about it. Wherever you find yourself and in whatever circumstances, give an impeccable performance. Make the best use of what is in your power and take the rest as it happens. It's time to stop being vague. If you wish to be an extraordinary person, if you wish to be wise, then you should explicitly identify the kind of person you aspire to become. It is difficulties that show what men are. For the future, in case of any difficulty, remember that God, like a gymnastic trainer, has pitted you against a rough antagonist. For what end? That you may be an Olympic conqueror, and this cannot be without toil. A half-hearted spirit has no power. Tentative efforts lead to tentative outcomes. Average people enter into their endeavors headlong and without care. Give yourself fully to your endeavors. Decide to construct your character through excellent actions and determine to pay the price of a worthy goal. The trials you encounter will introduce you to your strengths. Attach yourself to what is spiritually superior, regardless of what other people think or do. Hold to your true aspirations no matter what is going on around you. To know that you do not know and to be willing to admit that you do not know without sheepishly apologizing is real strength and sets the stage for learning and progress in any endeavor. Fortify yourself with contentment, for this is an impregnable fortress. Men are disturbed not by the things that happen, but by their opinion of the things that happen. Difficulty shows what men are. Therefore, when a difficulty falls upon you, remember that God, like a trainer of wrestlers, has matched you with a rough young man. Why? So that you may become an Olympic conqueror, but it is not accomplished without sweat. All human beings seek the happy life, but many confuse the means. For example, wealth and status with that life itself. 
This misguided focus on the means to a good life makes people get further from the happy life. The really worthwhile things are the virtuous activities that make up the happy life, not the external means that may seem to produce it. What really frightens and dismays us is not external events themselves, but the way in which we think about them. It is not things that disturb us, but our interpretation of their significance. Learn to distinguish what you can and can't control. Within our control are our own opinions, aspirations, desires and the things that repel us. They are directly subject to our influence. Getting distracted by trifles is the easiest thing in the world. Focus on your main duty, 